Well, hello YouTube viewers and subscribers. It is cold out here. It is only 65 degrees in my shop. And it's May whatever, 20 something. 2020. I've got electric heater going up there on the bench. I hope it ain't too loud. Okay, this is the Vice Project. Uh, if you watch the video, you can see how this vice will go down on this piece or it'll lay sideways. Well, we want a different mod. We want to be able to mount the vice like this, swing it back and forth out off the bench, and then tilt the vice. So this vice will be able to tilt like this. You'll be able to tilt it up, and these jaws will be horizontal flat. I think you know what I mean. What You can do this. Know what I mean. We're just going too fast. We're almost there. It's a pretty thick wall pipe. It was probably Schedule 80 or Schedule 40. Look how thick that is. We do not have no shaft. We do not want to order anything. Okay, through my backyard machining, don't copy what I do. Do all that stuff at your own risk. I have a grinder that mounts in a box. And one I, a way I can mount it in the vise. I took a cutter disc and cut down here approximately what I wanted. So I've got my caliper set a little over an inch and a half. So we don't take too much metal off, okay? They may not be set correct now. But see where the line's just barely there. Okay, see where I tapered it? It's just starting to go in there. Once we get this down, because we're thinking about putting some extra grooves. It is hard to grind this off with a grindstone. And I have my good four and a half inch grinder. We may put some extra grooves. I don't know. It depends on how much time I want to spend. But once we're done getting near here where it wants to go, we will start using the belt sander to machine this. It's a shame I don't have a big lathe, huh? But this is not a rotating part. It's not a machine surface like a bearing surface. It's just to hold it there. This has a way where it clamps if you watch the video or I'll modify it and drill and tap a hole for a bolt to lock it in position. Which I probably will, because when you lose this vice, the vice turns. We don't want this vice falling down, smacking you, uh, when I can just lock it what position I want with a bolt mod. That's in a future video, so stay tuned. We wanted to show you this, but we got too far. We're going to go do this today. We do not know how many hours this is going to take, because we're doing it outside, which is really nippy out there and wet and foggy because it rained. So, we'll be back when we get this ground down some more. Hopefully where it fits right in. That's what we're going for. So, stay tuned. We're already three minutes into this. Just talking about the job. Let's get to work. Okay. That's probably two and a half inches that goes through. If I remember, I think I made it two and five eighths. I may have overground a little bit down here. But, we're not worrying about that. We'll get to fit through there. It's just starting to go in there. Now we're going to go to the belt sander. We're going to take our vise over there. Close to us. We're going to start sanding for about an hour. This took about a half hour to grind this. With a good grindstone and my good four and a half inch grinder. My Hercules I got from Harbor Freight. It is a tough grinder. I mean I put it to the torture test in the video when I first got it. So it's the toughest one I had to do a job like this. I'm grinding this much metal away. So. On to the sander. And we'll see what it's like. We'll try to get this to start fitting in there. Okay, it fits. We used the flapper disc and the grinder disc carefully more than we used the belt sander. And then we actually took our file because to get the edge down here because it went going like the last quarter inch was kind of nasty. Because I don't want to get up here too close and start grinding this way. We're going to kind of buff this up with our thing in the drill you know kind of smooth it make things look a little better this will probably be painted but it's thin i want to show you that it's thin this is not going to be for heavy use this by how thin that is uh the same as the other piece of pipe that goes on here but this is not going to be used for heavy use it's to be a multi-purpose vice for my projects hatches you know different things that i can move manipulate the way i want it so it, this is some heavy pipe. It really is. Just working with it. I don't know what schedule is. I'm not a plumber. I I work for one, but I know it's pretty thick-walled, galvanized water pipe. So, this will be welded here. Don't give me no lectures about zinc poisoning. 
uh, grain is much off it'll be welded outside uh, there's no breeze so it won't affect my MIG gas so stay tuned for more okay let's take two because the sirens blowing lunch is over get back to work okay this bits we kind of beveled it okay even though when you take the vice up it keeps this from moving we don't want this to fall off or anything on our foot so what we're going to do is have a washer inside of here welded okay get my big fingers out of the way to a nut with a nut welded to the washer okay so we can put a bolt there and have this washer on there and this washer just big enough that it will not let this pull through if you push if you took the pipe out you'll be careful this thing will smash your finger this is 20 pounds if you took this out and put this washer up here, it cannot pull through. It just goes into the bevel. So, it won't be able to pull off. Will not be able to. Proper grammar. Okay, I think you know what I mean. Okay, let's off the work on some other stuff. See how I said this thing's dangerous. It is heavy. So, off to the next part. So, we used, uh, like I said, we did use the belt sander to smooth it up a little bit. But, so we wanted a little bevel on there. So, it seats up there good. And it's plenty sturdy enough to what I want to use it for. I mean, it's not going to break off with me using it. So, break time. And then back to work. This one's got to really fight with a pinch of fingers. This has to be pulled back for this to go through there. And you're always messing with it. And it does have an adjustment on it. Like I said, we want to drill and tap this to lock this on here without relying on this. Because when you loosen the jaws up, the thing can spin. I think I said that before. Anyway, let's talk more work. Okay, we did some pretty crafty work on this. See, it can't come out now. Take this off. This is just a common fender washer I made the hole bigger. It was a quarter inch. I think it's five sixteenths now. Half inch. Head. Might as well pull it out and up here close. It's just spot welded. You know, the nut spot welded the back of the washer, and then I got lucky. I used the welding ground clamp to clamp around the bolt. I had a bolt screw there, and it set right on top of there. And then I had just a big pair of vice grips, so it didn't fall over. And I just tacked it four times, ground everything smooth. So there you go. Then it can't fall out. Now we're off to make the. Uh, curb in this pipe whatever you want to call it this mouth curve and I want it right at the very top this will have a net in it a net welded on you know with a hole drilled and you know what I mean net with a bolt to tighten it so it can't swivel and I don't want it to we're gonna have this at the top now this is pretty thin stuff right here so we will be welding the heat towards here it'll work it'll be globby it ain't gonna look good but it's gonna be painted I already decided just paint the thing flat black the whole vice may be painted black someday. I know I whined about the color. You shouldn't complain if you're blessed enough to have a new tool, but look at it. It's not green and it's not blue. What is it? It's not green. So we're off to do this. I have my own way of doing that. Yeah, a lot of people have their other own way. I have it to where I hold it up and then I'll draw the curve. Here, might as well show you one way to do it. This fits on here very snugly because there was a seam in there. I have it where I hold it up here like this and get an idea. See where you think it would ever touch the pipe? Watch me come in. About there. Watch the top and the bottom. It come in there and it touch about right about there. And I just draw a marker. Sharpie marker. Line. Then I adjust it so it's like this. You know, it's and it's not off this way. And I use a square. So it'll take a while. Because you're making this come back as far as you can. And then you might see me make a weird taper to it. You know, it kind of goes in and then back out. Fish mouth. Anyway, let's just do it. Let's talk. We're going to have a break. And we're going to start grinding on this. This we're going outside to do. It is finally getting a little bit of a breeze and not so humid. It rained and it's, I don't know, it might be 70, but it's really nasty out there. The air is not fresh at all. But we're not complaining. It's not winter time. Don't get me wrong. Let's get to work. Oh, 
Okay, here's the finished product. So now you see the idea. I gotta put the bolt around in that part that's laying here. This is that bolt that goes out in the end. It's a little stiff right here. I think we'll sand down this part because it's really rough lines in it. I mean, I've smoothed the inside of that pipe a lot. I did use some carbono on my weld because it looked pretty nasty after I got done. I mean, there was dozens of little spot welds I didn't burn through this. Welding to something heavy. And you get gaps trying to make that where the pipes curve. But it's a tool. It looks good about this far away. <laughs> That's what matters. There you go. Now you get the idea. So you can tip this vise up that way. You, know, you can tip, I wouldn't tip it down. I'd put the handles on the top. So you can actually tip the vise up and stand it up the other way and swing it off the table probably mount it like right in here where I can get in here and get to the bolts because there's a tray right here and I do not think this comes out of the desk so it would probably be bolted like right in here they could always be taken off so I can just reach in and take the you know hold the nuts take the bolts off so it'd be easy to put right there so when I'm not using I have plenty of room to swing it out of the way with this stuff gone and then I can swing it out, and it'll be right there I need it. I decided on 10 inches on this. It's A foot was too much. I decided on 10 inches. So, there you go. I could paint that silver. It'll probably just be painted flat black. So, that's the end of this project. Thanks for watching.